Winners never quit. But is that real or is it a myth? Vince Lombardi, a world famous uh, football coach, once famously said, winners never quit and quitters never win. You may have had this thrown at you at some point in your life, maybe when you totally sucked at a sport or some other thing you were trying. So is it true? Are we just not as successful because we quit too early? So I have another quote for you, and this one's from Seth Godin, uh, author of The Dip. And this one is, winners quit all the time. They just quit the right things at the right time. So think about that. You know, winners quit all the time. Abraham Lincoln failed twice in business. Vera Wang was a professional figure skater, failed to make it to the Olympics, quit figure skating, went on to become one of the most famous fashion designers. Elizabeth Arden dropped out of nursing school and quit her job as a receptionist and a bank teller before becoming a giant in the beauty industry. Jack Ma was an English teacher, tried several business ventures that failed before founding Alibaba, and now he has a net worth of $45.9 billion. Sir Richard Branson has a long list of failed ventures. Virgin Cola, Virgin Clothes, Virgin Vodka, Virgin Cosmetics, and Virgin Cars. Uh, myself, I've had previous jobs in retail and banking and a number of business failures before I became Captain Time and enjoyed my current success. So all of these people had to quit things that weren't working to create their eventual success. So how do you know if you're quitting too fast just because you hit an obstacle? How do you know if it's the right time to quit? Uh, or if you should just persevere and push through uh, that difficult portion? So one of the things to look at is, okay, is the potential of what I'm doing great enough to warrant my pushing through that difficult Portion. So what's the payoff? Is this really genuinely the outcome that I want? Is this the most important thing I want to do? Is this worth battling to overcome that? When you decide that you do want to overcome it, that you don't want to quit, then there's a number of ways of getting over that hump. You can hire someone to do the portions you're not good at. I hire graphic designers all the time because I suck at graphic design. I'm not good at it. So therefore, I would happily put that graphic design project in the hands of somebody who's got the talent, got the skills, got the vision. You can set dedicated blocks of time to work on those obstacles. Uh, you know, okay, say I'm going to work on this one hour a day until I break through. You can take an online course uh, to, you know, take to improve your knowledge to get better at that thing, so that you can gain the skills to overcome that obstacle. Or you can tap a coach or a mentor, somebody who can help you through, somebody who can, you know, kind of push you up, uh, you know put their hands under your foot and, and pop you up over that over that obstacle. So, do winners uh, ever quit? Yeah, they do. They quit all the time. They just quit the right things and it's critical to make the right decision whether to quit or whether to push through. And if you need help with that, consider working with a coach. Uh, if you want to work with a coach for things like time management, productivity, internet marketing, entrepreneurship, I'd be happy to help. Thank you so much for listening. Please hit the like and subscribe button uh, so that you can be informed of future videos like this. And it really helps other people find my video. So it helps it be shared with others. Thanks so much for listening. Bizmentum, online business networking, reimagined.